Previously, we looked at sequences of numbers, and we said a sequence was simply a group of numbers, and an arithmetic one was one that had the same common difference added each time to produce the next number. So this was an example of an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic series is just taking that sequence and adding all of those terms together and finding the sum. So sequence, just the numbers. Series is adding the sequence up. And so how do we add up a bunch of terms? How do we add up all of these terms here that form this arithmetic pattern? Well, one way would just be to go 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 and add those up, maybe in your head or maybe using a calculator, um, whatever. There is another way of doing this that is a little bit intuitive. So if we took this series here, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, and if I wrote the series again, but this time in the opposite order, so this was sort of in ascending order, this was in descending order, and then if I added all of these, if I added these together, so 1 plus 9 is 10, 3 plus 7 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10, 7 plus 3 is 10, 9 plus 1 is 10. So they all actually add to the same number, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them here, so this is 5 times 10. 5 times 10, of course, is 50. So that would be the sum of two of these series, this one and this one, because I added them both up. So if I wanted to find the sum, I could just take 50 now and divide it by 2 and get 25. So this is another way of finding out the sum of an arithmetic sequence. We can figure out what each terms would add together when we put two of them together, one in ascending and one in descending order, and then multiply them together and then divide by 2 because we have twice, we have, we have two series here that we're adding together. Let's look at how we could do this in a more general sense. So remember from arithmetic sequence, t1 would be our first term. Then our next term, we would add the second term, which would be t1 plus a difference. And then we would add the third term, which would be t1 plus two differences. And then this would keep going. There would be three differences, four differences. And then eventually we would get t1 plus n minus 3 differences. And then t1 plus n minus 2 differences. And then finally the last term would be n minus 1 differences. So we, we don't know how long this is going to go. This might go to 20 terms. And then this would be 19 differences, this would have been 18 differences, this would have been 17 differences. But this would be the sum. So this is adding up the sum of the first n terms in an arithmetic, sequences, ar arithmetic sequence. So if I took that same sequence and found the sum, so now I'm finding the sum of these series, but wrote it in the opposite order, So let's just, let's group these together so it's a little bit easier to, to see where they are. Okay. Now we're going to add these two together. So, 
put a big line under here and add them together. So this would be two sums. And when you add this together, you have T1 plus another T1. So that's two T1s plus an N minus one, N minus one D. Now, if this follows the same pattern as the example we did with the numbers, this should end up, these should all end up being the same term. So T1 plus T1 is two T1s plus, this was N minus two D, but we're adding another D. So now it's only N minus one D. And this is exactly what's gonna happen. We're gonna get the same terms every time. So this plus this is two T1s and n minus 3d, but add 2d is n minus 1d, and so on, all the way down here, even if we just look at this last term, t1 and t1, so that's two t1s plus an n minus 1d. So, how many of these terms do we have? Well, we have n of them, because we're adding up n terms. So this becomes n times, 2t1 plus n minus 1d. 1, 2, 3, 4, there'll be n of these terms here. And then finally, we can divide everything by 2 because we want to isolate s of n, and we get the sum of an arithmetic sequence. And so if you want to find the sum of any arithmetic sequence, you need to take the number of terms divided by 2, and you multiply that all by 2 times the first term plus n minus 1 times the difference. Now there's another formula that we can um, create from this one. And you remember that the general term of an arithmetic sequence was this. t1 plus n minus 1d. So if you look at this in here, we took this one, there's two t1s here. So that's like t1 plus t1, two of them, plus n minus 1d. And this little part right here, t1 plus n minus 1d, is the same thing as tn. So really you have two formulas that that you can use to find the sum. You'd use this one if you know, what do we need to know? We need to know n, the number of terms. We need to know the first term, and we need, we already have n, and we need to know the difference. So if you know what the number, the number of terms you're trying to add up, and you know the first term and the difference, this is a good formula to use. But if you didn't know what the difference was, but you knew the last term, this would be a good one. So use if you know n, the number of terms, t1, the first term, and the last term, which we can call tn. So there's, there's the formulas that we can use to find the sum of arithmetic sequences, and let's look at a few ex examples now. So let's say we need to find the sum of the first 10 terms of this arithmetic series. So we have the formula s of n equals n divided by 2, 2t1 two plus n minus 1d. So I need to know what n is. That's the first variable in the equation. Well, n is 10. I'm adding up 10 terms. The next variable in the equation is t1. That's the first term. I know that. That's 3. And the next thing, I, the, we already have n already, so we need d as well. d would be the difference. And we can always find the difference by taking t2 minus t1. So 7 minus 3, the difference is 4. So now. 10 divided by 2, 2 times the first term, plus n minus 1, so 10 minus 1 times the difference. And now we just got to do here with the numbers. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, 2 times 3 is 6, 
10 minus 1 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36. 6 plus 36 is 42, and 5 times 42 would be 210. So the sum of the in terms of this arithmetic series would be 210. Let's look at another example. So let's look at, at this one here. Um, I'm going to write both formulas down. So this one here, we could, um, we need to know n, we need to know the first term, and we need to know the difference. Well, we we don't have n here. We can have we do have the first term, six, and we can find the difference. One minus six is negative five. But we don't have n. We don't know how many terms there are here, and it's the same problem with this one. We do know the first term, six. We do know the last term, negative thirty-nine, but we don't know n. So we've got to figure out the number of terms. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to borrow that formula from the arithmetic sequence. So this formula here, you remember from earlier, if you want to find any term, it's equal to first term plus n minus 1 differences. So we know that the last term is negative 39. And we know that the first term is 6. What we would really like to know is what n is. How many differences are they adding to get to negative 39? And we do know that the difference was negative 5. 1 minus 6. So using this, this uh, formula for the arithmetic sequence, we can isolate n. So I'm going to get rid of the brackets here. Negative 5 times n is negative 5n. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. And now I've got some like terms here. 6 plus 5 is 11. And now we can isolate. So we're going to minus 11 from both sides to get rid of that. Negative 39 minus, ele minus 11 is negative 50. And dividing by negative 5 gives us n equals 10. And so now we know that n is equal to 10. We know that the first term is 6. We know that the last term is negative 39. And we know that the difference is minus 5. So we could use this formula because we've got n, we've got the first term, we've got the difference. Or we could use this formula. We've got n, we've got the first term, and we've got the last term. I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit easier to work with. So 10 divided by 2 times t1, which is 6, plus tn, which is negative 39. And we would do the work in the bracket first. So 6 minus 39 is negative 33. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times negative 33 is negative 165, I believe. I think so, yep. So negative 165 would be the sum of this arithmetic series here. So these are the two formulas. And you can use either one depending on the information that you get from what you're given. Um, but keep in mind that you may also need to use this formula to find some of the information you need to use the equations.